having an amazing day. I just wanted to share a little bit of flamenco dance with you. I have my socks on, you don't need any shoes. Make sure you subscribe to Hakame Flamenco's YouTube channel because there's a lot of educational uh, resources that we're, we're putting out regularly. So this is for anyone who wants to uh, learn a little bit uh, about dancing and flamenco dancing is perfect because you can do it in your home. It doesn't require a tremendous amount of space. So I'm working in the 4-4 rhythm which is a flamenco thongos, and it's one marcaje, one marking step. So this one marking step, we're really gonna focus on our hips, but I'm going to add arms as well, and a little bit of a, a counter rhythm, okay? So it's one marking step. Here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and face the mirror. So we're gonna step over to our right side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm bringing that left foot up on eight. So there's a lot happening in the body here, but let's just start with the feet, okay? So I'm stepping with my right foot. It's like step together, step together, step together, step, left foot up. Let's do that again. Five, six, seven, eight. Step together, step together, right, left, right, left leg up, okay? So that foot is relaxed, that left foot is relaxed. Now let's think about what's happening in the hips, okay? So as I go over to the right side, my hip stays to the left. As I come together, it goes to the right. So I step out with my right, hip is to the left. Together, my, right hip, my hip goes to the right. Left, right, left, right. Okay, so that's what my hips are doing. They're opposite of what the feet are doing. So if you wanna just work on this, I think of going across, right? Stepping out with my right, as my hip is to my left, it sways over to the right. It sways over to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, up. Now as I'm doing that, I imagine having like if I'm in a TV screen, I'm not going up and down. I'm staying nice and lifted in my body. So I'm really thinking about my posture, lower and upper abdominals, shoulders rolled back. My hips are forward. Okay, they're not back, they're forward. Everything is in alignment. My knees are nice and soft. As I go over and I extend that leg over, the hip goes the other way. And then together, hip is opposite of the foot. So here we go, five, we're gonna step with our right foot, hip goes to the left, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I'm mirroring you, I have my hands on my hips, I can keep track of my hips, they're not back, they're nice and forward, abdominals engaged, shoulders rolled back and down, chest nice and lifted. Here we go, hands on the hips, I'm extending, you're mirroring me, so you have your right foot extended as your hip goes out to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So now we're gonna to go to the other side. So I'm gonna face the mirror and I'm extending my left leg out. As my hip goes to the right, I'm staying nice and lifted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I kind of face that foot. So I'm facing you again. Let's go. This is your right foot. I'm mirroring you. This is your left foot. We'll start right side and then left side. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I'm facing the mirror. We're going right side and then left side. Five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so let's go ahead and add a little bit more to this mud cat head. So as we go to the right, we're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. So you're hitting your, your hand, your palm, your palm, your hand, uh, to the leg. So I'm facing you just so you can see it. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can put it on the beat. It's really meant to go off the beat. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it's a counter rhythm. Seven and eight, and then you go back into your marching step. Now I'm gonna face the mirror again. Same thing. Five, going to the right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Now, if that feels really comfortable and easy, let's go ahead and add the arms. So I like, let's see, let's go above the head. So whenever I teach, I talk about taking your shirt off or your sweater off, and that's, that's what you want to feel. So it's really not that your arms are big and open. They're kind of like tracing the side of your body and going out. Okay, so we're going to the right and we're gonna use our left hand for the hit, for that percussive hit. So we're gonna extend our left arm out. So if I'm just focusing on the arms, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's go ahead and try it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So when I slow down, it, I, I, as I start moving, it kind of, the movement of the arms kind of change. But the idea is to open up the arm, do a floreada away from the body, and then hit on end, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do that again, right and left. Five, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So if you're interested in learning a little bit about the arms, I... I have a little tutorial, a short tutorial on here on basic arm structure for flamenco dancing. I love working with the arms. I love everything about flamenco. It's just such a beautiful art form. This is something that you can do in your kitchen, <laughs> in your backyard, and you can do it with, you know, any 4-4 rhythm you hear on the radio. It doesn't have to be flamenco music, but Flamenco music is great. I love it. And um, so if you're looking for some flamenco music, go to the link below because my husband, flamenco uh, guitarist, Chris Hakome, has a, a tremendous amount of music 
uh, compositions that this marking step would go great to. So make sure you check that out and make sure you subscribe. You can visit our website, join our newsletter. And I just wish you the most amazing, wonderful day. And I wish you all the things that bring you joy. And if it's dance, I'm happy to share that with you. Okay, sending great, great vibes your way. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.